1976, Morrisburg, Canada was the site of the greatest car stunt ever performed. This event was known as the Super Jump. Stuntman Kenny Powers would attempt the longest car jump in history. His goal was to jump the St. Lawrence River. The distance would be one mile. An eight and a half story ramp was constructed for his rocket powered Lincoln Continental. Once the car would leave this ramp, it would sail one mile over the river and land on Ogden Island in the state of New York. This jump had been in the planning for over four years. Over one million dollars had been spent and 110,000 yards of dirt had been moved to construct this special runway. Kenny Powers would be jumping three times the distance Evil Knievel had tried to achieve during his jump at Snake River Canyon. Powers' car would reach a takeoff speed of 280 miles an hour. Within seconds, he would reach an altitude of 300 feet. His body would undergo a force of over 30 Gs. This jump had been attempted four times previously and had to be canceled. This time, Kenny Powers knew there was no turning back. Powers said his final prayers. His self-confidence was high. Any self-doubt or hesitation could cost him his life. A helicopter roamed the sky while power speedboats and divers waited on the other side of the river in case of a disaster. As the final seconds ticked away, Power's young wife became anxious. Would this be the last stunt he would ever perform? jump was unsuccessful. As rescuers reached the car, Powers was freeing himself from the special harness. But nobody knew the extent of his injuries. His car disintegrated in midair and landed in the river. His wife and the crowd waited anxiously for news. Powers was lucky. He had broken his back. This was nothing new, for he had suffered the same injury seven times before. As he was carried to the ambulance in a state of semi-consciousness, all that he kept asking was, did I make it? Is everybody pleased? As the ambulance rushed off to the hospital, all that remained of his $1 million attempt with the remains of a yellow rocket-powered Continental floating aimlessly on the banks of the St. Lawrence River. The dangers of reaching high altitudes aren't always confined to stuntmen equipped with a rocket.